Hi, I'm here for a book talk. I want to talk to you about Daughter of the Pirate King by Trisha Levenseller. I finished reading it about five minutes ago and I am so excited and I have so many feelings about this book that I just need to tell someone which is going to be you. Aren't you lucky? Okay, so I got this book from my very first Owlcrate shipment which was the March 2017 box. And you can see behind me the Owl Crate little card. Let's see if I can, oh, I'm pointing to the wrong shoulder. Right over here. And you can see right next to it my little Captain Jack Sparrow that I've had for years. One of my um, former students and now dear friends, Savannah, gave that Captain Jack to me uh, many years ago. And he always sits there on my bookshelf. And uh, I thought of him a lot as I was reading this book. This, um, on the the cover of the book. It says something about a female Captain Jack Sparrow and uh, so right on the money. Our main character in this book, let's see if I can hold it up so you can see it. All right, are we good? A little bit more this way. Sorry, I'm still getting used to this. Um, so you can see our main character has this fiery red hair. She's dressed like a pirate warrior princess. And that's what she is. She's the princess of pirates and wants to one day be the queen of pirates. Her daughter, or she is the daughter. Her father is the pirate king and he is after some more sections of this map. He has a third of it. And these other two pirate lords apparently have the other two pieces. And he really wants those three pieces so it can take him to what is supposed to be the treasure of all treasures. The treasures of a thousand kingdoms or, you know, something along that line. And to make him the most insanely rich pirate ever. And so Princess Alosa intentionally um, gets herself captured. Now she is the captain of her own pirate ship and she has a mostly female crew. She has a couple of men there that she trusts. Um, but she has some really amazing female pirates on her crew. And what happens is she allows herself to get captured by the two sons of one of these pirate lords. Their father uh, has passed away and they now run the ship. Draxon is the captain and Raiden is the first mate. Now Raiden in the dust jacket is described as unfairly attractive. Yeah. Um, I still, oh gosh, Raiden. I, I kind of can't get over him. He, he might be my new book boyfriend. Anyway, yeah, he is definitely an attractive man. He's a pirate, and so that comes with, you know, being violent. And yes, he's killed people, but so has Elosa. And these two, Raiden's kind of put in charge of getting information out of her. He, he and Draxon feel like they really captured her, and she, you know, didn't want to be captured. Um, but they kind of know, or Raiden at least kind of knows that she's different somehow. She's up to something. There's He can kind of sense a difference in her. And when you get to about the chap end of chapter 11, you discover what her difference is. And it is mind-blowing. Um, I, I don't want to tell you because I want you to read this book and find out for yourself. But oh, oh my goodness. Um, this book has so many twists and turns, and, and that's just one of them, finding out what Elosa's difference is, what her secret is. Um, so many different pirate characters come in and out of this book. There's some really fun characters that you get to know here. Some are those love-to-hate characters, like uh, Captain Barbosa in the Pirates of the Caribbean movies. Um, and there's some love-to-love -love characters, like Elosa and Raiden and, you know... Raiden's brother Dra Draxon, I don't know if he's a love-to-hate guy, but he's not a nice guy. Uh, it's more just, yeah, you're a bad guy and you should be punished kind of a, a deal. But can we just talk about Elosa and Raiden's relationship for a minute? Like, oh, the feels. Like, <sighs> I was in agony during several of these chapters and just almost physical pain, almost cried. And I can't tell you why because I don't want to ruin things, but, just, oh, yikes. Um, you have to read this book. It is amazing. If you even like pirates a little bit or if you like action and adventure stories a little bit, read this book. Uh, one of the students that I was on uh, was on my field trip with me this past week is um, asked to read this book and I definitely want her to read it. I want all of my students to read it. If I was rich, if I were rich, excuse my grammar, if I were rich I would buy a copy of this book for every one of my students because it's that good. I mean it has the romantic thing to play for the girls and the action adventure for the guys and oh I honestly can't think of one of my students that wouldn't like this book because 
even this one boy that I have in my mind that doesn't like to read, he would read this because it's, it's a boy book and a girl book. It's just awesome. I just, if I knew Trisha Levenseller, I would go up and give her this great big hug because of this gift. And I know I sound like a total dork, but that's okay. I'm a nerd about a lot of things, and pirates is one of them. In my classroom at the old school, I had a pirate corner. And in the new school, I don't have a place for a pirate corner, but I'm really going to have to make one. And maybe I'm going to have to like do some fan art for Alos and Raiden. I'm not a great artist, but I could come up with something. I need a pirate corner in my life again. Anyway, I hope, hope, hope that anyone who sees this will please run out and buy The Daughter of the Pirate King. You will not regret it. It is fantastic. On to my next read. I'm going to be reading the book that I got from Once Upon a Book Club, and I will post what I find out about that book shortly. I just hope I love it as much as I loved this one, although it's highly doubtful. It's hard to beat a girl pirate book. Alrighty, thank you again for watching. Thank you.